The birth of our medical school has been a long time coming. In the state constitution back in the late 1800s, there was consideration of having a medical school in Austin associated with the University of Texas. Fast forward into the 21st century and there was a reinvigoration of having a medical school in Austin. Along came State Senator Kirk Watson and he created 10 health care goals for the citizens of Austin and number one was to build a med school. That was in September of 2011. Now, five years later, we have a medical school, we have a building, we have our first class of students. Walking into this building is a very different experience than walking into when I went to medical school. So the building is nice and open, and that, that's a key part. If we lost electricity here, we'd never notice because there's so much natural light. In this building, we have several different places for the students to be. On the third floor, we have meeting rooms where their small groups meet, which have tons of natural sunlight. For our small groups called Pillars and Docks, we use our society group rooms, and I, I think it's a really good place to be able to interact with both our facilitators and our fellow classmates. The rooms are ideally set up for that. You have the big screen, you have the whiteboards, you can write on the inside glass as well. There are whiteboards everywhere too, so you can just pick up an Expo marker and start drawing out anatomy structures. And then it's also great just for personal study time because you have this nice, decent sized room to yourself with couches where you can sleep, lay down if you need to. I am known for being in the society group <laughs> rooms. There is one room that I am in. 24-7. There's a lot of collaborative space and you know sometimes you use it to study alone and sometimes you use it to work with other people on things. It makes you feel less isolated which is really important especially in medicine. There's also a standardized patient core where they'll do standardized patient exams. It makes a huge difference when you actually have the small room where you go in to meet the patient, you have the bed that they're sitting on, the sink and everything all in that one location. It's really nice to see the clinical sim lab is very very similar to a real clinical room. We have four hour blocks of lab and they're divided into four stations. So three of the stations are actually in the anatomy lab and then the students rotate out into the multi-purpose lab for the fourth one. The multi-purpose lab is open for the students whenever they want to come in. They've been coming in on their own and just using the, the space. There's all the glass that looks to outside so it's not like you're closed up somewhere. It's very open, the entire building. If you want to study in groups, there's plenty of space to do that. If you want to study by yourself, you can also find space to do that. I'm here usually from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. This is my home base. I know if it's raining outside or I know if it's sunny outside, which in a lot of academic buildings you don't know. There's a cafeteria downstairs called Nourish, serves wonderful food. At lunch, we all just kind of talk and eat lunch casually. It takes a lot of the stress out and it builds community. The cafe is amazing. It's like the best on-campus cafeteria slash cafe that I've ever experienced. And as to the design of the cafe, you see everyone walking in, so it promotes, once again, like the community. I think the building is an awesome design. The, the staircase that goes up the center of the school really opens it up. I can seek privacy if I want to, but I can also make myself public. Teachers might walk up the stairs, or it can be another classmate. It provides kind of a common pathway for everybody to go through. Um, so that you're constantly running into other classmates and faculty members and members of the administration. The first floor of the building, very exciting. We have a large auditorium, it's 125 seats, but it's based around a team-based learning. We've all come from a background where we don't have students participate this way. We had more of a standard lecture approach. The setting itself allows for teamwork at the table. It allows for students who are maybe facing the front of the auditorium to swivel back and work in the team. When there's fixed seating, it forces us to confine to a certain format. This building allows us to break through all of that. We're very central and we're right in the middle of the city of Austin. And so it gives us this really good outlook onto the people that we'll be serving as we move forward. I think the building is a good example of the scale of change that's happening. It makes me really excited that everyone here is ready and willing to do whatever it takes to change healthcare. We really aspire to something great. We want to graduate physicians, healthcare practitioners, social worker, nurses, pharmacists, who are not just that person in that role. I think part of our aspiration is to truly live up to the motto of our university. What starts here changes the world. We're going to do it.